What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my bootcamp experience video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Krista. I am 24 years old. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I mainly do my channel with like a lot of lifestyle vlogs, but I also take you along on kind of my career journey and my school journey and everything like that. So if you are new here and you're just stumbling upon this video, definitely subscribe to kind of see how my journey unfolds. I recently, as in like last week, graduated from UNC Chapel Hill's coding boot camp. It was one of the more difficult things that I've ever done. It was long and a really big time commitment, but we will get into all of that in this video. I'll have timestamps down below of everything that I'm going to talk about regarding the boot camp. But I wanted to do this video just to kind of give a summary of my experience if you're interested in a boot camp and don't know where to look. I feel like there's not that much information out there, so I wanted to share my experience. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start by giving you a little bit of background about who I am and like my knowledge going into the boot camp. So I actually did my undergraduate degree at UNC Chapel Hill. And then I got my master's degree at UNC Charlotte. So when I was looking for boot camps, I was immediately drawn to UNC Chapel Hills for two reasons. One, because go heels, I'm a Tar Heel for life. I love UNC. Any excuse to be back in the system is exciting to me. And second, they did offer an alumni discount. So that was obviously very nice as well. And I really did trust UNC to provide me a quality education since I already had a really good experience with them for my undergrad degree. My master's degree is in health administration and right now I am working as a research specialist, research analyst, kind of research project manager position. I basically help physicians move along their research. We do a lot of data analytics and then we push the research to get published. So that's kind of what my job is right now. And in doing this job, I learned that I really like the tech side of things. I still have a passion for healthcare, but I really like tech even more. Also, my boyfriend is a data scientist and he completed a coding bootcamp and I just really saw how it elevated his career and got him a really great job that he loves now. So these were kind of all the deciding factors that I was like, hey, I finished my master's. I feel like I wanna learn more specific skills so I'm going to start looking for boot camps. I have the coding boot camp stuff for UNC pulled up right here. So I want to just give you some overview of the different ones that they offer. So for boot camps, they have the coding boot camp, which is the one that I did, the data boot camp, the digital marketing boot camp, and the product management boot camp. I was between the coding boot camp and the data bootcamp or it's data analytics. In hindsight, I think the data analytics might have actually been better for what I want to do since I do want to go into more of an analytical role. But at the time I was unsure and I do think both had things that fit my interests. So the coding bootcamp that I did is basically a full stack development bootcamp. So we learned like JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Node, React, a lot of kind of like JavaScript based programs is what we were learning. And we did touch a little bit on SQL and Python, but nothing crazy. The data bootcamp is gonna touch a lot more on SQL and Python. So those are the different ones that you can choose from. I, like I said, did the coding bootcamp, the full stack development one. So I'm going to be talking mainly about that one and my experience. For the application process, I thought it was fairly simple. You go on the website, I can have it linked down below, and you fill out a form submission for someone to contact you. And then they'll either email you or call you and just kind of talk to see if they think you would be a good fit for the bootcamp. They wanna know your interests, your potential dedication, because it is a rigorous program and make sure you're a good fit. And then if they think you're a good fit, they send over a assessment that you have to take. It's like a logical type assessment. You don't need to know computer coding or anything to take the assessment. I found it super simple, easy, quick. And based upon that, you will get accepted or not, I guess, into the program. They'll call you again and start discussing financial options and how to get enrolled and how to get started. 
you have quite a few different financial options. You can pay like monthly installments or you can take out a loan, a private loan, which is what I did through Sally Mae, or you can just pay it all up front if you're able to. So once you get accepted into the program and you are ready to begin, the program is six months long and it you have two classes every single week for six months. The classes are Mine were on Monday and Wednesday. I think it might depend on your cohort, but mine were Monday and Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Your class setup is on Canvas. If you've you know, taken classes before, been to college, you're probably pretty familiar with Canvas. It's the same setup. And then you have a module for every single week. You do get eight absences throughout the six months without any penalty. So obviously that is very nice because we're most of us taking this are adults and have jobs and whatnot, so things do come up. The modules are independent work, so you go through them on your own, and then at the end of every module, so at the end of every week, you have a homework assignment. You can miss two homework assignments without penalty. The homework assignments and the modules definitely take a good amount of time. I would suggest spending two hours every single day going through the module and working on your homework throughout the week. I often didn't do that, so then on a Sunday, I would be sitting there for five, six, seven hours trying to get through it because I was bad and always have been about kind of procrastinating, but I still got through everything. And you also have three large projects throughout the six months that you work in groups for, which I think the projects were probably some of my favorite parts because you get to really showcase what you have learned and your creativity really gets to show. And then you can use those projects in the future for applying to jobs to show what you can do. All the classes are recorded, which is nice. So if you miss a class or if you're confused, you can always go back and watch the lectures a second time. I completely suggest watching the lectures a second time, all of them, if you can. But again, it takes a lot of time and you're already kind of limited on time. But rewatching the lectures, you can like slow them down, speed them up, whatever. That was always really helpful to me. And every lecture I rewatched, I found that those were the concepts that I grasped the best. It's a pretty fast paced program. Like I said, it's a lot of homework every single week. It's definitely rigorous and they know that. They going into it, they warn you about that multiple times that, hey, this is a lot of work. So you know, don't take this on, take on this loan, take on this payment, whatever, if you are not dedicated. I also wanted to mention, we started our cohort with like 50 something people and we graduated with like 30 people. So definitely a lot of people did drop out. It is really rigorous. So that was something that I was expecting, but definitely an interesting point. As for your resources when you're in the program, so someone you'll communicate with a lot is like, I don't know her title, but she's like the program manager. She is super, super helpful. She's really responsive to email. She's super kind. So if you have any questions about just like the general structure of the class, she is the person that you would reach out to. Again, she's really helpful, really responsive. I felt close to her, like she cared about me and then you will have a actual class instructor and you have a bunch of TAs, so teaching assistants. And the TAs are all like ex-students who graduated the boot camp and have successfully gotten jobs in their field. So the instructor during class, he is super helpful. He also is often there for office hours. We have office hours before and after every single class every week. So that's four options for office hours. Usually with your questions, you will be working with a TA though. I don't think I mentioned these classes are, they're on Zoom, so super convenient. And if you have a question and you go to office hours, the TA will take you into a private breakout room and work with you on whatever your question is, concepts. You also have a full Slack channel where you have access to all of your classmates, your teacher, your TAs, everything like that. And I think everyone was honestly really, really responsive. The class was really helpful to each other. If you would send in a question, a lot of people would try to help before a TA could get to you, for example. I had multiple times, like as you guys know, I work from home, so I would work on homework like during my breaks and stuff. And I had multiple times where I would send a question in the Slack group and one of the TAs would message me and be like, hey, can you hop on Zoom right now? and I can help you with this. They're not required to do that, but they were really nice about even meeting with you outside of office hours if you needed to. So I really would say the support is there for you if you take advantage of it. 
and you just really have to be self-motivated that's like the biggest factor i would say going into a boot camp there also is tutoring opportunities those for me were kind of hit or miss i think the tas kind of know you better and know what you're working on better than the tutors but it's good to attempt to work with a tutor. It usually just takes a little bit longer because they have to kind of comb through your code to understand what you're doing. Whereas your TAs already know the lessons, the projects, what you're doing. So I always had more success at office hours than I did actual tutoring sessions, but there is opportunities to work with tutors. So you can try to get with a tutor. And then another really cool part of the bootcamp is they have like a career connection corner where you can submit your resume, your LinkedIn, cover letter, thank you letter, whatever you want, and they will provide you feedback on that. That's something that I definitely found to be very valuable. And then upon graduation, if you submit all of these things, you're supposed to be contacted by a career coach who is supposed to help you kind of work through finding job applications and stuff to apply for that you would be qualified for. I haven't gotten connected with my career coach yet. I need to follow up on that because I definitely submitted all the stuff I needed to submit. So I will make sure that I follow up on that. And I'll keep you guys updated in the vlogs how that goes for me because I am going to be looking for jobs. I feel like the million dollar question is, is it worth the money? And unfortunately, I don't have a solid yes or no answer for you. I'm going to say it depends on the person. The one that I did was around $12,000. I would say they range from like $10,000 to $30,000 depending on where you are trying to take your boot camp. And it's extremely intensive, it's fast, it's rigorous. You have to be motivated. I think if you have the discipline to learn these concepts on your own, then I think it's worth trying to learn them on your own without a boot camp. Pretty much everything we learn, you can find on YouTube, on different coding websites that have so many tutorials and you can teach yourself. The biggest thing with that is you have to practice. So you have to put the coding into practice. So you would have to come up with assignments for yourself and build applications on your own without direction. And I think you can do that and you can learn it if you have the discipline and the knowledge to do so. I personally work very well with structure. So I knew if I wanted to do this and I wanted to learn something, I needed those outside people there to hold me accountable. Also all the resources to be able to ask questions, that was really important to me. Having weekly classes that I basically had to show up to meant that every week I had to work on the skill that I wanted to learn, computer coding. If I was trying to do it on my own, like I said, I know myself, I'm very self-aware, it just wouldn't happen. I would sit down for 30 minutes, read a few articles or read a few tutorials and then move on with my life and I would not have the actual skill that I was able to develop. So like I said, is it worth the money? For me, I think it was because I couldn't have done it myself. But many people will tell you if you go look online, oh, just do it yourself. Those are a waste of money. Just do it yourself. And yeah, you definitely can. Like I said, everything we learn is online. There's a million resources, no doubt. Definitely true. But will you sit down and do it? Will you give yourself homework assignments? Will you practice, practice, practice? I don't know. If you will, it's worth a try. You can always try it for three months and if you realize, oh, I'm literally getting nowhere, maybe I need a boot camp, then I think a boot camp is worth it. What are my career goals coming from the boot camp? I do wanna stay in healthcare if possible. Titles that I'm looking for are data analyst, data engineer, data scientist, all within healthcare, which does limit me. I would be willing to go outside of healthcare, but I really want to keep within healthcare because I think it's kind of like my field of expertise. So I am actively looking for jobs right now. My coding experience does come entirely from the boot camp, so I'll have to keep you all updated on how that goes. I do use some analytical programs in my job now that I am currently learning, so that's helpful as well. Like I said, for my personal goals, I do think that analytical boot camp may have been a little bit more of what I was looking for, but I have learned a lot in this boot camp and it's taught me and led me to understand which direction that I want to go in in the future. So I'm really excited to see what happens next for me. With applying for jobs, I have gotten quite a few calls. I've definitely had interest, which is exciting. So hopefully I can make some moves in the future upcoming. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe so that you can be following along on my journey. 
I'll have to keep you guys updated because I'm sure my thoughts and opinions on the boot camp will change as my experience changes in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful to somebody out there. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I will do my very best to get back to everybody. And with that being said, I will see you all so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.